Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Um, regarding the question of the question about centrality and lethality in protein-protein uh, interaction networks, uh, this is a theory that this guy has created about, uh, but it's mainly based in this paper from Nature of 2001. And actually, we don't have uh, much more information if this is true uh, in other organisms. Okay, so this is true for yeast protein protein interaction network. Okay, so remember that network that we have uh, discussed a, a lot uh, in the last class. Uh, just to clarify some points here of this network so the red nodes. These are essential. Okay, it means that if you knock out this protein, if you remove this protein of the yeast, the yeast cannot survive. Okay, it's essential. So if you remove this node, it's little. It's little to the organism. Okay. So lethality comes from this uh, part because some nodes are essential. In, in other way, in, in, in another way speaking, it's like uh, if you remove these proteins, the organism die. Okay, but again, this has been tested in yeast, not in any other organism, as far as I know. Okay, uh, I have seen already some people criticizing this theory that is not uh, really working for more complex organisms such as animals and plants. Actually, plants, uh, I'm questioning this theory in one of our projects in the lab that I don't believe it is as true for plants. I will explain the next slide. Okay, but centrality, it's uh, when we are talking about centrality, we are talking about hubs. Okay, so hubs are central nodes in the network. So, for example, in this network, we have some. Uh, green nodes that you can see in the top of the network you have a green node that is highly connected to, the, to many other green and yellow nodes so in this case green are non-lethal okay so it means that if I remove any of the green nodes here the organism you survive okay so you have hubs that are really that that, that are they have many connections, but they are not as important as the red ones. Okay, so you have some green nodes here, highly connected, but uh, their importance is not that high compared to the red ones. So the red nodes here, if you remove, the organism cannot survive. This is because uh, the organism cannot compensate the absence of this uh, protein. Okay, this protein is essential, right? So centrality, it's about hubs. Lethality is about how important or how essential is this protein. If the protein is just uh, important to growth, they are not really essential. Essential is, is the, the protein that you remove from the organism and the organism die. That's why it's lethality and centrality, okay? But as I said, um, not every red node here that, that are essential for the proteins are hubs. You can see some red nodes here completely isolated, right? So to be essential to the organism is not necessarily a hub. And the other way around also. Not every hub is essential for the organism. Just look to the green hubs here. Okay? Green nodes here are uh, non lethal nodes, red one are lethal if you remove. Okay, and in the right side, you have this correlation. You see that it's not a very linear correlation between the number of links of a node and the, the percentage of essential proteins. I mean, how essential is this proteins correlated to the number of links that this hub has? Okay. Uh, so this is centrality and lethality in yeast protein protein interaction network. Okay. Um, 
as I said, the, we, we don't know if this is true for other organisms. Okay, this is, uh, uh, these are four subnetworks of the plant protein protein uh, plant protein protein interaction network. Okay, we have a, a, a study that has investigated a lot of protein protein interactions between all the proteins of the Arabidopsis, and they found out many interactions. And we are now uh, doing the lab this thing here. For example, we found some. Uh, very important hubs, I mean, in terms of connections, they are highly connected uh, nodes, for example, NTRC, Tardoxin H3, NACI 89, and PTF1. So, PTF1 is transcription factor, NACI 89 is transcription factor also, NTRC and Tardoxin are members of the redox uh, metabolism. So, what they have in common? They are highly connected nodes, but they are not essential. It means that if I remove any TRC or any other of these yellow nodes, the organism will survive. Okay? So, as I said, not every hub is essential, as we are seeing here. But we, in yeast, there is a, a probability that if you remove a hub, you are... Uh, leading the organism to die. We don't know if this is true for plants, we don't know if this is true for animals. Uh, it seems that not, okay? But uh, the centrality and lethality theory so far only works for uh, yeast. Okay? So, if, you, if, you, if I didn't make myself clear, just let me know or just have a look in the paper that is also very nice. See you! Bye-bye!